When the derailed boxcar ripped into the telephone pole, a high-voltage power line went down, taking with it electricity for 25,000 Portsmouth households and businesses. The railroad car loaded with potash flipped on its side and sheared off the utility pole. Vepco crews on the scene repaired cables and rerouted lines. By 9.20, power was restored to some customers, but that was too late to salvage the school day for some 19 public schools in the part of the city east of the Churchland Bridge. Busloads of students were turned away at the morning bell. In all, here at Wilson High School, 1,600 kids had an extra weekend day off. So did their teachers. The topper for them, today was payday. May I have your attention, please? Teachers, all teachers are dismissed by the day. We have no bells to change classes. We have no power to cook in the kitchen. No telephones to get out in case we have an emergency. So there's just a, a real problem with communication. I have no kids to teach. No kids at this time, that's right, they're home. The business of the city went on, even before the lights did. The lobby of City Hall resembled a scene from a B-movie. Municipal workers tried to handle whatever business came their way, but without power for cash registers and computers, it wasn't easy. Some days it's harder than others. Today's one of those. Well, you see me carrying these flashlights, so <laughs> my pockets are loaded. But what really bothered them was not being able to watch television. <laughs> Elevators were in service, at least partly, and then the lights came on and City Hall started to buzz again. On the day the lights went out in Portsmouth. Howard Joffe, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Portsmouth.